In this video, we're going to look at the relationships that we can now create. Um, now that we have all of our tables have data in them, and I haven't got much, but normally I would expect there to be um, 20 records. So each one of these is called a record, and um, so these are the field names across the top and each one of these is what's known as a record and I would sort of expect you to have at least 20 records in each of your tables so I'm, I'm just doing this very quickly that's why I've only got four in there now what we need to do is we need to understand that this is what's known now as a database that has three tables in it we're going to make it a relational database and the way we do that is we go into database tools and we choose relationships and we, if we add all three of these tables in here we can see that we have um, a different view here and this is actually called a schema a database schema and it's a way of looking at a database and in this case the most important thing about this one is the relevance of student ID as a primary key in the student details table but then it's also a foreign key in the other ones and that's how we create what's known as a relational database so what we do is we actually left mouse click over the top of this one and then I can drag this and if I drag this across to here I can hold, let go of my left mouse button over the top of student ID and I get this little table up which shows me a, another um, wizard which talks about what sort of relationship we have. Now at the moment our relationship type is one to many. We can have one to many, one to one, or many to many. And that most commonly we have a one to many relationship. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create that. What we have is, we'll just move this one over here, we now have a join to these two so you can see there and you know it's very flexible it won't let go um, and if you're like me you probably when you first create this want to move it around and, and see how it is now that join type is what's known as if I click on it and right click I can choose edit relationship that join type is known as one to many so there's one student can have many different types of contact details let's say um, you're in a situation where you have two houses that you live in so you can have many different ways of contacting you but you're all still just one person <coughs> and that's that goes the same with this one as well so we can go across here and drag it across there for our favorites table and we can have one to many it's automatically detailed uh, defaulted to there enforce referential integrity means that if I click that it won't work at the moment because I've got data in there but what this means is that if I had um, I could actually enforce referential integrity if I didn't have data in these tables where I could actually uh, if I deleted a student or if a student left our class or moved on uh, went to another school we could actually delete their data and it would delete the data that is in here because now I have a relationship between those two so relations or relational databases are very important and you'll see the effect of uh, relationships in the next thing that we do. But that is what's um, looking at this and understanding these concepts of um, primary keys and foreign keys and how they're all related and what type of relationships are being formed, the one to many, is the basis behind uh, our key theory concepts in our subject. So I'm going to stop this video now and we're going to move on to how we would display our data to our user in the next videos.